Hi everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. I am Devanjan and today our topic is how to insert data in relationship table using composite service in MDM 10.1. So this is the agenda of our video KB today. First is understanding CSORS XST and COORS XST. Second sample request walkthrough and third I will show a demo to insert the data. So here first uh, for the clarification I will show today the insertion of data using the latest REST API and the JSON object that is the latest what we have introduced in version 10 and 10.1 onwards. So I will use our, I will use the sample one of that uh, type. So let us go through our first part understanding CORS and CS, CSORS and COORS. So if you just so first before going there I just want to sh uh, show you my data model I am using simple MDM sample and this is my application I have a subject area party which is on party table I have a subject area child uh, sorry this is a subject area party and this is the subject area child I have address which is on CRL party address table this is the relationship table where the party FK and the address FK both is saved so this is a one to many child and I have another grandchild level that is the address table so basically this subject area child is a relationship table and this subject area grandchild is a another foreign table another table address table based on this one this is my data model how it's behaved how it is created so now let us go through so I just uh, what is I am trying I am trying to insert a data insert a composite service okay I write write subject area if I do write party then it should insert data in the party table it should insert data in the relationship table and it should insert data in the address table in relationship table we have let us see that what are the parameters we are passing there we have address type and address id these two values are there in the relationship table so this address id is nothing but the part uh, address fk i have just kept it here but we will not insert any data here because our intention of this video is to see the create the data both in party address and the party address table relationship table both this address type is a lookup value i will show that how this uh, address type needs to be inserted these two columns are there in the party address that is the relationship table and with this one there will be data in the address table also and these are the data which are getting which are there in the address table address line 2 and address line 3 so these are the data in the address table and the party table that is a subject area actually there I am inserting the data only first name and the party type it's coming yeah only the first name last name and party type so i will not give uh, last name here for now i will give just first name and party type here so this is the simple data model how on which we will work now so let us first see the cs files that is uh, csors and cors so this is if you just go to this url cmx slash cs files you will see the all the composite object that is generated here and there you will see CORS and CSORS so if you just uh, click on the CORS this is a CORS and this is a CSORS so let us first see the CSORS what is there so in the CSORS there is actually uh, nothing more for us to look into this one to create uh, the data it actually uh, mainly uh, for our backbone of the CORS so mostly we need to look into the CSORS only still I want to show you that how we will sure that we sure that one there is a composite object is generated successfully so like if you are doing if you have created your composite type as party so if you uh, so you make sure that you have this right party and read party which is showing here like how we, I, I have shown this effective period system name records so these are the system columns so this has this should have been defined here so that same things had been defined here so your composite object has been generated 
so let us jump to the CORS which is more interesting and uh, this will uh, help us to form our request message so here the root first thing we will see here the root party dot rules so our composite complex type composite service the complex type is party and here the uh, parameters which we have selected there in the IDD you have seen that party type first name last name these three so this is our complex type is party and the content will have these three things mandatory actually mandatory means this is the selected so that's why I am telling this one mandatory other than that if you give anything those will not be getting inserted but these columns anyway it's not mandatory for a data attribute like if you are doing a put call simple on party your mandatory things is party type so party type you need to pass first name and last name is an optional you can pass or you can not pass but anything else other than this first name last name and party type even if you pass in your request those will not be taken care if that is not there in this part of the in this area so this is our root next what we have seen in our uh, example what we have created is party dot address dot address table this is this address is the relationship table and this address type address table is the down table that is what is there that is in the main address table so you remember that in the address table we have created okay so let us first see the address and see that how it is going there okay So here we are with a party dot address complex type. So this is our in between table. This is a rail table. So as we have seen there, we have the address ID and address type. So again, you see that I what I told at that there that is address type. This is a lookup value. We need this. so this lookup value type will not come as string as a normal value. It will come as an object. Why? Because the lookup is on one lookup code it was not on yd object or something else so it will be a new object this is lu under lu address type this is a lookup address type so what we need to pass there in the lookup address type to see that one you need to dissolve this type lu address type so just search with that lu address type lookup and you can find out this complex this is a new complex type lu address lookup and these are the two values what you need to pass this one address type display and address type code these two values you need to pass in those lookup i will show you a demo so at that time you will see that how we need to pass these values but this is how you need to decide that what are the parameters to pass and what are the values we need to pass for those parameters so this is this went our rail table so our last part of this one is the child table that is party dot address dot address table so there will be obviously another complex type for party dot address dot address type table yeah so here is our complex type new complex type party dot address or address table here we have address line one address line two these both are string so we don't need to take care about anything so you need to pass then party for their first name and party type we need to pass for address the rail table there you need to pass the address type code and address type uh, display name as a separate lookup object and here you need to pass address line to address line 3 you can pass any one or any whatever the number you want here among the talk among the these columns what have been configured here if you are passing any thing else like there is address line 4 in the physical table but we have not configured it here so but if you are passing this address line 4 in the request it will not be get processed and the value will not get populated so this is how our cmx ors and uh, say sorry cors and csors looks like so let us go through the next part of that uh, way of, of agenda that is the sample request to work through so now we know we know that csors and cors how it is generated so now let us go through to create a record 
so this is the url what we need to uh, call localhost cmx party this one so how to get this url you will get this one in here so how it is coming like yes, cmx cs like this one so if we just go one step back and if you select this one wadl so the rest api supports wadl so you need to get this wadl so this is your wadl okay and to hit this one if you are hitting this party so you need to pass the complex type is party so you need to pass this party here then you need to pass a system name default system name and the interaction id here and rest request will and the rest request will be they go will be going as a json object here so i am using postman client which is the mostly common used client nowadays and they to pass this json object so this is actually authorized one so to authorize this one we need to give the add password and username for the admin user or whatever watch whichever user is trying to create the record so that's one i have configured it here and you need i have done the update request now go to body and here you can see that how i have formed the request message i am passing first name this is the value party type person this is our main party table next is address this address is a relationship table so we remember that in the address table which is a one to many relationship so we need to pass the things as a item so this is our so we have given this i as a this this third bracket is there to define to define the uh, item because this is a one to many relationship and in between this one there is another one to many relationship that's why this item things are required so in the item our first object is address type so you remember address type is not a string it's again a complex type and that contains two string one is address type display business and address type bus next so you give a comma after that one next object is that one next object is the address table so this record should be created in the address table also one record will be created in the address table with address line 2 address 3 so that we need to pass it here so address line 2 i am passing some value address line 3 i am passing some value so this object is finished the, there is no more item pending so i am closing the item tag also i am closing as well the address object also i am closing the parent party object also so i am expecting that there will be a party record created with sample test and person type there will be a relationship address will be created which will have this party as or id object as party id and this address id object as address id and address type as this one so let us run the send button and see what is happening it's loading you will see this one and after that one you will get a message about the creation so here if you see this party table row id object 1930 and source key 24000 it's created 1930 in the address this is a relationship table there is row id object 2128 is created this is the address type so this is the address type this resolved with row id object 2 that is the row address or row id object for the business this is a lookup value i told you earlier next is the address table this is the record in the c address table so there is also 2128 local row id object has been created here so this is how the record got created this is a sample insertion request so let us see let us just call one get query also and see that one whether it is returning or not so here i am just passing this party so we no need to while calling this one get also we no need to call anything else if we just give us so we have a three level uh, child so i am passing the value as three and i am sending the request yeah see i am getting the record for party 91930 first party type person first name sample test it's for address 2128 business address type as business for address table address line 2789 address line 3456 and row id object as 2128 i am getting the record let us verify in the back end also so
I am seeing here the record is created. Okay, where party ID is 1930. This is the relationship table. Here is also 2128, the same record what we have seen, it's got created. And here 2128. This is also created. Let us see whether the address type is get populated here or not. Here I can see the address type is successfully populated as bus. Okay. And the party type also, party name also should be populated, party type person and the first name sample test is getting populated. Let us verify the address one also. Here also you can see interaction ID is 126, that will be same for everything and address line 2 and address line 3 is gets populated here. So this is how you need to insert a record in the relationship table. So I have shown you the demo. If you want more information and the sample request, you need to refer this KB. Thanks for your time.